I thank God for you today because I know that you are remaining sober. As I've been saying, this is a sober, uh, we are going to have a sober Christmas. We have lost in the last many years, we have lost very many lives on road carnage. And I know that many times when we go to the celebration of the Christmas and the New Year, there is, a, you know, that celebration in the air. And I want you to celebrate, but I want you to celebrate alive. I believe that uh, as I've been speaking about substance abuse uh, or abuse of alcohol and even illicit beer, I am talking to you today. I want you to celebrate the way you should, alive and sober. I am sending you this message because I know very many people have been maimed, others are, are becoming crippled, others are not enjoying Christmas because a few days ago they had an accident. And this accident, most of them are caused by drunk driving. I pray that today, as I give you as a mother in this nation, I'm asking you, my children, as you drive, drive sober. Make sure that you have your family and it is safe. Fathers, I'm speaking to you. Because you'll be carrying your families in those cars. You, we must be careful the way we behave this Christmas. Let's not lose the life for nothing. When we are able to be able to control ourselves by being in control of our own destiny. Destinies can be destroyed by just drinking. And all I would ask you is that Kenya and the world, let's remain people who are not intoxicated by wines and spirit, but let us intoxicate ourselves with the spirit of the living God. This is the message from your mother on Christmas Day and the New Year. I want you to remain sober so that we can have a productive 